Welcome to the next video in the series Python tricks. In this video, we are going to understand about passing functions as arguments to other functions. The functions that are passed as arguments to other functions are also called as callback functions. And the functions that are accepting the callback functions as arguments are called as higher order function. So uh, we are going to look at it through example. So I have defined this function here that accepts a name and a callback function as an argument. So it is accepting the callback function as an argument, which means it's an higher order function. Greet me is an higher order function. And then it calls that callback function, which is passed as argument like here, and it passes in the name also, which was received as argument, right? So it invokes that callback function, passes in that name, and it is this callback function after execution is supposed to return a message. And it is whatever greet message would be. The, this greet me function is just printing that message. That's all. So it invokes that callback functions con function, gets the message and prints the message. That's all. We call the greet me met method here, function here. So we are passing in the name as Aman and the callback function that we are passing is called as tone inspired. Tone inspired is defined here. So this tone inspired function takes in a name and returns this string, right? Let's, let's execute it and see what it, re what it returns. So you see, right, uh, it, it is, returning your work has inspired me whatever thank you and this name and you see this this is coming from here right this is this is the tone inspired function that is returning now how how it is working is a tone inspired function is getting passed here with callback function and this callback function is executing that function which is the tone uh, which is which is which is the tone inspired and it is passing in the name name is also received as argument and then the message whatever we are getting here we are printing that now let me change this tone inspired to some other function so there is a tone empathy that that's some other function here i'll change it and let me run it again so you see that message message has changed now it should be coming from the tone empathy function so I understand whatever blah 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 and stuff like that and then it just returns this uh, string and the string is captured here and this string is uh, printed here that's what we are seeing in it on the console and uh, yeah i hope you understood uh, that how callback function is working and we are passing in uh, we, we just pass it like like any other object right F functions are objects in python and they can be treated like any other object we are just passing it and invoking it that's all so i would like to explain you one hypothetical scenario where callbacks can be used so basically for better understanding so let's say that we want to fetch events for a particular user like it could be login event logout event or any kind of event now these events are used for tracking the user's activity in the system so let's say we have this button here which is in the browser we just click this button this executes a function in the client which is fetch user events and then it does some pre-processing here and then finally it invokes this function which is for making the actual network request it passes the user id for which for the user we want to fetch the events uh, the uh, that particular user's user id is passed here and then it is passing this log event now this log event is actually the callback function now what happens in this example uh, this is your browser so once this browser is actually invoking that make request then then server is going to send back the response and the response is going to contain events for that particular user now let us say that server is sending the the events in batches for example it sends uh, five events then it pass sends you six events and then it sends eight events and so on and so forth and let's say there are 100 events and server is not sending all the events in just one response it is sending multiple responses and every response contains some six seven or some number of events And every time client gets the events, it is going to log all those events in, in a file here. It could be any file in your like system, right? So it is just logging that uh, those events to the file. This is just the file. Also understand that for logging event, log event, this particular callbacks will be called every time the server or every time the client receives event, it is going to invoke this log event callback for logging those events to file. So what essentially client does makes the request server sends the response client invokes the callback to log that in the file. So I hope that you understood it. Let's continue.
One classic example of callback functions is using through the map function. So basically map function is, is a higher order function which accepts a callback, callback function. Now here that callback function is str.lower and it also accepts an input as a list, right? So we are passing strings in that list. Now what map will do is that map is going to iterate over all the items in that list and apply this function to it, right? Eventually, what it is going to do is it is going to call this function for every item and pass every item to that function. Basically, it, it will be something like this. So str.lower and it's going to pass in the name. Like first it will be Dhoni and then se secondly, it will be like str.lower and then it's going to pass like what Virat and stuff and stuff like that. So basically, it's going to loop over every item and for every item, it is going to invoke this str.lower function now this function is eventually whatever is returned by a map is eventually converted to a list and we are capturing in this variable and let's see what that variable prints so ideally what we expect what we are expecting is the dhoni should be converted to like it's all capitalized now it should be converted to small characters so it virat will also be converted to small characters so let's just print that sorry You see, right? So we get Dhoni, Virat, KL, Rahul, and all are in these small characters. So with that, I hope that you understood what is what are callback functions. It was easier to follow. And with that, I would like to see you in the next video. See ya.